There we go. Yo, why is it doing that same shit? Give me a second. For some reason, it, it likes to not show the NES emulator. There we go. Let's watch this shit, because that's actually a household robots rock and roll were created by master robot designer Dr. Light, and we're enjoying their peaceful days. This is actually the origin that you don't get till Mega Man 4. Then one day, the industrial robots all over the world went on a rampage, and the world fell into total chaos. This is actually my favorite one. Dr. Light quickly realized that mad scientist Dr. Wily was a real dickhead behind the nefarious deed, but he didn't know what to do. Rock, having the biggest balls in the room, you can almost see them there, a strong sense of justice volunteered to be converted into a toaster. A fighting robot. Thus the super robot Mega Man was born. Everything was changed when Dr. Wily attacked the robot nation. This is absolutely my favorite Mega Man on the NES. It's probably my favorite Mega Man overall. Except for maybe some of the Mega Man X games are really dope. Like Mega Man X2 is pretty up there too. Mega Man sh scat uh, shattered Dr. Wily's plans three times. And world peace has been maintained so far. But history repeats itself. <laughs> yeah, I'll make, I'll make toast. Dr. Kossack, a mysterious scientist, invented some new robot fuckers and sent them after Mega Man. Mega Man starts for the battle again. This time equipped with the powerful new Mega Buster. Dr. Kossack. All right, so we got Ring Man, blow out your O-ring, Dive Man, Skull Man, Pharaoh Man, Bright Man, Toad Man, Drill Man, and Dust Man. We're going to start with Toad Man because he's the easiest one. So the Mega Buster is really cool because it's like, it's the normal... It's the normal lemon shooter, like, okay, I can shoot my lemons, but then you can charge it up. Whoa, big lemon, right? But then you can charge it up more. Super lemon, super blue lemon. I don't use the charge shot all that often, but it's useful at certain times. You better stop. This is actually, it's the easiest robot master, but it's the most annoying in the stage because of the constant wind you gotta be fighting. Right. Gibbs, can you, can you un-Gibbs yourself, please? Thankfully, it only affects you when you jump. So you're not constantly being pushed back, but making simple jumps becomes nightmarish. Yo. So fun fact, that lemon, the middle one, is not any stronger. It's the exact same. It's this one that you want. Which is why I don't use the charge shot too often. It's got improved later on. But, um... Powdered Toast Man! Cling tenaciously to my buttocks. And then here's the opposite. You're only being pushed when you're standing still. And I believe that fully charged shot is equal to three lemons. All right, you gotta hit the eyes. Yeah. No, oh, I hate that shit. Oh God. Oh, tell me you fucked up without telling me you fucked up. Woo. Oh my god, I might actually do that, Eevee. Whoop! Damn it. Alright, we got it. 
controller disconnected for half a second there. This is a lot harder, which is why I'm using charge shots. Got him. All right. Sometimes the charge shots are useful. It's just they're not always useful. Nice part's fun. All right. <laughs> right, 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 right. All right. I remembered things. I don't want him dogging me. Oh, God. Fine, whatever. I could probably beat him with this amount of health. I'm going to save it just in case, but I could probably do this. Yo, yeah, I get that ranch dressing high-powered. It's like power washer, but it's hooked up to ranch dressing. All right, so the easiest way to beat him is to continually shoot. Even if you're not hitting him, you want to make sure you're always shooting him. Even, always shooting. And the reason is because he's hard-coded to always jump if you're shooting. It doesn't matter if you're shooting at him or not. He will never use his weapon. He will only jump. So it takes a while. If you stop shooting, he'll use the rain flush, and you don't want that. So you could totally just trick him into never attacking you. Because he's constantly trying to dodge your shots. There we go. I might do that. I might do Jesus Moogle as a category. We'll see how I feel. I think it's funny, though. You got... Rain Flush. Ah, uh, that's better. You got Rush Marine Adapter. Love the graphics in this. He might. He might. He might not. Moogle's really random. All right, we're going to do Bright Man. do 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 Ready. Don't shoot that. If you shoot those floating ones, the, the room goes dark. And then you have to shoot one of these guys to make the firework that makes it light again. So it's better to just not even... Huah! Man. Bumping into me and shit. That's fine. Uh, do I have rush call? Yes, I do. All right. Oh, really? Really? Really, Rush? Really? Star Fox in the hat. Yeah, I wonder. Moogle? Can you let us know? Were you mashing on that buzzer that time? Yo, though, I tell you one thing. If, if Riddle knew the answer, you couldn't get in before Riddle. Riddle was so fast. Is this the first one with Eddie? Uh... I think so. Yo, Riddle was mad quick on that buzzer, though. If Riddle knew the answer, Riddle was going to get to guess. Or if Riddle thought he knew the answer. There we go with the damn crickets. You know, it's funny. Like, you, you could say, hey, do you guys understand before and after? And everybody like, yeah. You sure you don't want to explain it? And then even after you explain it and seeing several different examples of what it is be like what is fight crimers or whatever the hell he said violence fight like no 
As I said, Moogle random, though. I love that though it's glowing too because it uses the same palette as Mega Man. Oh. Oh, I hate this part! Yo, this part sucks. Alright. Save it. Hey, you told me. Alright. Now the green ones stay. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm trying to stay ahead of that thing. Okay. Wait for it to go by. This part low key is like Mega Man 9. Or Mega Man 9 has a lot of shit like this, is what I should be saying. Yo, I. I did that on the first try, though. Oh, the Game Boy and Mega Man 4 is completely different. It's a good game, but it's completely different. Like, the Game Boy games are not like ports of the NES ones. They weren't even made by Capcom. Oh, I didn't change weapons. Shit. Rain Flush. So, it, the Rain Flush is a full screen attack, so all you gotta do is use it and not worry about anything else but dodging. Ow. Oh, God, he's gonna hit me. <laughs> Die, you piece of shit. All right. Woo! Your mother. You missed it earlier. He told me he was talking shit about fake name and silly snake. We were talking mad shit. You got flash stopper. <laughs> All right. All right. Sorry, I was reading something. All right. So that works on um, Barrel Man, right? Barrel Man's awesome. I love his stage. I love his weapon. Everything about him is cool. Spread the word my ass. Like, oh yeah, you told me. Mm, if you want to spread the word, I'm going to need to spread something else, okay? Yeah. Well, I'm going to take my, dot, my, my, my vet to the cat. I love this stage. I love every stage in this game, but this is probably my favorite level in the whole thing. Oh god, I didn't have a charge that time. Alright. Alright, there's a really good item. And you only get one chance to try and get it. Woo! We gotta go over here, though. Yeah, you're right. He's worse than Tally, though. Like, Tally's, like, a shithead, but Payton's, like, a monster. There we go. We got the balloon adapter, which is a really cool item. He may not make sense, but he cool, though. So this is where you would wind up if you just drop down normally. Bubble Bats from Mega Man 2 are back. God damn it. Plus the Pharaoh shot is just OD if you know what you're doing with it. It's one of the few Robot Master attacks that is, ooh, chargeable. And it has really some unusual properties that, oh god, I forgot they could shoot their shit up. It has some unusual properties that you have to kind of know what you're doing to use. But once you get the hang of it, it's really cool. Yep. Bitch. Oh. He had to go into that room and get himself another head. He had to get head in that room. Alright, let's get the, uh... Bright Stopper out. 
I remember Pharaoh Man in Battle Network Transmission or whatever it was on the GameCube. Chuck D head. <laughs> you ain't shit for that. And he was one of the tougher battles, too. Alright, you gotta time this right. Come on. That was weird. I would have rather been on the other side so I don't have to keep jumping like this, but this is working. He dead. Alright. Hey, it's not gonna finger bang us into his heart. What is wrong with you, Moogle? <laughs> what is wrong with you, Moogle? Uh, uh, uh. Mm. You got Pharaoh shot. I remember number, man. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Ringman's next, right? I'm gonna give you guys a um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick demonstration of how the Pharaoh shot works. I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna show it to you because I don't want the energy back. All right, after I kill that thing, because that thing's gonna be a threat. All right, so let me yeah, I'll save it here. All right, so this is I'm gonna show you how it works, right? So normally you just shoot it, right? Whatever. And it's really weak. You can charge it up, and this ball appears over your head, and you can shoot it. And what's cool about that is you can also angle it upwards or downwards. But here's the really cool part. If you manage to hit an enemy with the ball like that, you can still shoot it. So you can get a two for one. All right. Even if the ball disappears, which it sometimes does, after you hit an enemy with it, you can pause and then unpause, and as long as you're holding the B button, the, the it will reappear. I've got balls of steel. You might even say I'm the pharaoh of balls. Yeah, it's a cool stage. Like, you thought Ring Man, like, I don't know, Rings of Energy? Like, Rings of Saturn, because it's a very Saturn-themed... Shit, you know? You know what you should have said to him? Tell me when he asked for your Cash App info. You should have said, don't you have it from all the times you've helped me? All right, Nensen, we'll see you around, man. Saw your internet's butt. Inner butts. Oh, God! Wait, no, we rewind on that shit. That was my bad. Bro. That's what I was trying to do. Oh god, this shit. Times it wrong. I'm, I'm doing it way too early. A little, still too early. Got it, alright. This one, best Mega Man? Yeah, this one's best Mega Man. At least classic series Mega Man, right? I right, we got another hit butter fight. You ain't shit. Um I don't know, I like this one a lot, I like Mega Man X2 and X5 a lot. Here's Eddie. Sure. <laughs> I 
All right, so these things work the opposite. When you step on it, it goes like that. Oh, all right, all right, my bad. Nah, that's bad. Actually, the best way to do it is to kind of step on it and then wait, and then like that. It's possible. <laughs> uh, I know you're looking for the ring, but have you checked your ring? Have you checked your buttholes? Get up it up, butthole. Oh god. This one's close, so. I got the timing. X3, I don't like as much. 4 is good, but... X2 is, like, amazing, though. Alright. So we're gonna bring the Pharaoh Shot up in this bitch. I'm gonna charge it before I even go in. I have a ring for him. And by ring, I mean my sphincter. I might be toast here. Yeah, I'm toast. That's okay. It Mega Man 3 is not the most well-designed Mega Man game. I still couldn't do it. Damn it. Yo, I can't dodge his rings for shit. Yo, I can't dodge his rings for shit. Yeah, you should have made that toaster. At least then we'd all have toast, right? Yo. His rings is mad fast. Got him that time, though. Oh, doing a mega dance. Oh, 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 oh. It's an in toaster, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You got ring me, boomerang. We can have toast. <laughs> That's the alternate I want, right? They're just, un just, just, just Doctor Wiley and Roll and Eddie and Rush just munching on toast while Doctor Doctor Wiley takes over the world. Uh, Dustman. Do 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 do. Ready. You are not. Oh, God. Yeah, hold on. Spaghetti. What is this, papyrus? A beta version of Junk Man? That makes sense. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think I need to get over that, or...? No, alright. I'm tripping. It's a different stage. Oh no, I, Dive Man stage is where the wire adapter is. Alright. No! Spaghetti! Oh god. Oh, that's right. These are the platforms. Yo, get the fuck away from me. Oh my god, he won't get away from me. I thought I wasn't going to make that for a second. NES slowdown is real, yo. Hop, 
she made lots of spaghetti. Alright, we got this. Nope, opt out. What are you gonna give me? Whatever. Yo, those ladybugs is bullshit. There we go. Oh, those like Rockman Legacy, whatever the hell it was, Rockman Legends collection or whatever it was. Slowdown is a double-edged sword. It makes Space Invaders playable. Oh, I got him, wow. I was like, I can't shoot it fast enough. All right, uh, ring meat. Notice he turns dysentery green when you select a ring meat. Just saying. If I remember correctly, when he shoots the dust compactor thing, you just jump straight up, like neutral jump, and you're fine. If you actually jump on time. Ah. Yo, he's invincible when he's doing this, too, which is silly. Yep, it works. If you jump. He literally does suck. Got him. All right. He literally does suck. Do the Mega Man dance. ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba Time to kick Skullman's ass. If I remember correctly, Skullman's stage is a fuck, but we'll deal with it. You got Dust Crusher. There was a Dustman type thing in Mega Man X2, though, also, wasn't there? Skullman. What do you think of Dr. Wily? I want to kill him, but then again, I want to kill everybody. I forget what it was called, but there was a Dustman sort of guy in Mega Man X2. Isn't this the shit with the caterpillars that I hate? Oh, chill. Oh. I could have made that look cool. Extra life, though. No bones about it. Boner. This is Mike Mitay for Cinemassacre's Top 10 Boners. Wait for it. Oh, what? Dick. I don't really need that. I could have slid under him, but I didn't. Five, ten, eight, shit. How can you pick just ten? What are you gonna give me? Why do you always give me that? That's not what I want. Uh, I could continue to go up, but why? Actually, there might be an energy tank up there. Let me go look. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you can only hit them from the eye. Yeah, there's the caterpillar guy. There is an energy tank there. Alright, we're getting cool stuff. 
It's just knowing where all the caterpillars are going to be is the only problem. Also, making this jump. See what I'm talking about? There we go. I think I can... Yes, okay. You, you, you joking, right? Are you an ass? Alright, we got the thing that I came here for. And now I save it. I actually prefer the Mega Man X games in a lot of ways. I just like the gameplay better. It's got a cool story and everything, so... Can I even make that? Yes, okay. You have to kill the skeletons with the charge shot or they just keep coming back. Which I think is totally a Castlevania reference. Even the fact that they're skeleton robots that throw bones in that arc. It's like, yeah, it's fucking Castlevania, right? There's also a Mega Man 7 stage that's totally a reference to Ghouls and Ghosts. And you could even make it play Ghouls and Ghosts uh, music. Alright, so we're going to use the uh, Dust Crusher. Yep, Shade Man, exactly. He's, Shade Man's basically Dracula. Okay, you can actually hit him when he has his shield up by hitting him with the ring, but I'd rather just wait. Like, why do you gotta switch weapons, right? The ring goes through the shield, though, but you see how much damage that fucking Dust Crusher does to him? It's ridiculous. Alright, so we got Dive Man, though. Dive Man is an item I gotta get. Uh, the, the wire thing is useful. It's, it's optional, just like the balloons, but the balloons and the wire are really good. You want them. You got Skull Barrier. I sure did. Alright. Uh, yeah. So we gonna do Dive Man. Diva Man. He's, he's a diva. He's Big Daddy. He's basically Hard Man with a periscope. Alright. I got boned. I know I have the rush, uh, thing, but... It's so not necessary. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Iframes, iframes. Whoa. Yo. That's okay. The stage is cool, though. I know people are like, oh, water stage. It's cool. All right, we got the whale. Oh, God. It's Mr. Krabs's daughter. All right. There's a certain, like, gap you gotta fall in to get the wire. And it's a whole fucking process. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with it. Jump! Jump! Slide! Slide! The only part of Mega Man 8 that I don't like. Mega Man 8 would have made my, like, Legendary 4 that we were talking about earlier, but... Except for the jump, jump, slide, slide shit. Like I said, if I had to pick the classic series, like... The Legendary 4. Mega Man 3, 4, 9, and uh, what was the other one I said? Oh, 5. Mega Man 3, 4, 5, 9. Those ones. Like, nobody likes that jump, jump, slide, slide shit. That Stingray almost got me there. Oh god. Oh god. He diving. Alright, whale numero dos. Save it. And then we drop down here and we do this whole shit. And there it is, the wire adapter. It's, yeah, it's Mega Man 8. It's this auto-scrolling thing where you have to jump and slide at certain parts, and it sucks. Hell, you're learning about Mega Man right now. I, me and June, we got, like, all the Mega Man knowledge between the two of us. 
Like, we both grew up with this shit. We're both gigantic Mega Man fans. And June streaming and also playing off stream all the Mega Man games has made me just like, I got that Rockman fixation now. So you might have noticed that I have to redo part of the stage after you get the wire adapter, but that's okay. Oh, you played on the Saturn? That's nice. Didn't the Saturn have like a little bit of extra, like the graphics weren't as good, but it had a lot of little extra content in it? Like, wasn't like Cutman and Woodman or something in it? Nah, 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 redact that shit. That's what I was trying to do. What is wrong with me? It was just for, like, uh... For, for wrenches, right? Or bol bolts, that's what they were. Alright. Uh, what am I doing here? The, uh... Yeah, what is wrong with me? Skull. I hate fighting with a shield, but... Except for the junk shield in Mega Man 7, that shit was good. I try not to rewind too much, but... He does an insane amount of damage when he touches you. So you gotta not let him touch you. Nah, nah, fam. I hate Dive Man so much. Oh, well, almost had it. Really? Really? Come on, I can do it. There it is. He's such a shit. There we go, we got him. Yeah, social distancing, dude. He's like Shadow Man in what way? The doctor doesn't need to know about that. Don't you ever talk about my dick without my permission. <laughs> you got Diva Missile. Respect my boola. All right, trill me that you have to run into him and he hurts hard. Yeah, I mean, all the, all the Robot Masters hurt a lot when you touch them. The worst two are Dive Man and uh, actually there's three of them that are really bad. Dive Man, um, Hard Man, and, and Gravity Man. Because all of them do extra damage when they're colliding. Not just touching you, but colliding. They have collision attacks. He's like, yeah, it's just a different blue. By the way, does anybody know why they chose blue for Mega Man? There's a very specific reason. So he'd stick out more? No. That's why he has a black outline, though. But there's a reason they went with blue for the default color. I'll give you guys, like, one more guess, and then I'll just tell you. Nensen would probably know. Nensen would definitely know, but he's not here. He had to leave because his internet is butt. EB, you got a guess? As to why Mega Man is blue. Do I need that? I very much do not. Ooh, ooh. Someone's favorite color? Yeah, no, it's not that either. What it is, is that there's more instances of blue in the NES pa color palette than any other color. The NES color palette just has shitloads of blues. Oh, God. All right. And they were actually, because of his whole cha uh, color changing gimmick, they were going to call him Rainbow Kid for a while. Uh, they were also thinking Nuck uh, Mighty Kid. What does it have the least of? Oh, that I don't know, but it might be purple. Which is why you don't see purples too often. Yeah, that was kind of my way of giving a hint that Nensen would know it. God damn it.
Right, right, rocks. Oh god. Oh, I let that happen. Alright, save it. You gotta make sure you hit these switches. Some of them you have to hit as you jump, which sucks. And then you die. Alright, I'm just gonna take that death. I have, like, no health. The most fucked up thing is they were, like, saying, uh, well, this is enough, and ain't, because he kind of uh, ain't shit. He says, oh, well, I'm glad we didn't call him Rainbow Kid because of the unfortunate implications. He's like, N what? You mean, how about how leftists go back in time to do the gay agenda? Yo, why are they coming so often? Pause. I hate this stage, man. That's probably the best way to do it, is just slide ahead of it. Okay. Yo, no, 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 no. Very no. I only got two tanks, too. Oh, God. Yeah, seriously. Popeye's gender fluid, and there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it. I don't make the rules. Fuck, really? How am I ever going to do this without having to burn through a tank? Alright, fuck it. I'll burn the tank. I don't care. It sucks, but whatever. I, he's a little bit of a chud, yeah. That's so hard to do. This is the only stage in this game that I just don't like. Which is good that I get to save it for last. Alright, go, 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 go. Jump! Okay. Is it okay? Can I shoot the... Oh, you can shoot the rock. Okay. Then go. Alright. That wouldn't help me before, but it helps me there. Okay, 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 okay. Where is it? Uh, Dive missile. Alright. Yeah, this, this level just sucks. Hardly know her! <laughs> Yo, where'd that emo come from? Right. We get to fight the dung defender here. Oh, wait. I'm gonna die. Just let take the death. Z Zine? What'd you get a gift set? I don't know who that is. It sounds like something the Moogle would watch. No, dive man. Dr Drill man's just, just the whole shit is terrible. Doma, doma, doma! Hey, hey, hey! Yo, when, whenever I fight Dung Defender, I think of this guy. I don't even dislike Drill man, I just dislike his stage. It's the only part of Mega Man 4 I don't like. I remember once when me and June decided as the High Council, the High Elder Council of Mega Man fans, which the best Mega Man game is, and June was like, all right, four or five. Like, they're both, like, amazing. And I said, I was the one that said four. Because four has, like, one stage that's kind of crappy, whereas five has a few fortress levels that are boring as shit. So it's like, yeah, four holds up better. Ah, the typical streamer stuff, right? You got drilled! You got drill bomb. First I got boned, and now I got drilled. Mega Man's just taking it. And we got the Rush Jet adapter. Mega Man's just fucking taking it, yo. Alright. Dr. Cossack. Look at his fucking stage, though! Do, 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 do. Doggos are always a plus. 
Oh, look at the peppers. Ready! And this slows you down, so you gotta keep jumping. Not the slinky! Oh god, the slinky got me. I got hit by the slinky. It's like, not like this, not the slinky. Yo, did y'all see that video I linked to of Justin Wong playing Ninja Masters? I'm trying to figure out the game. Oh uh, man, I wish he had chat on screen. Because then you'd see what I was talking about, where I was like so trying to help. And at the beginning, he was listening to me, and I was giving him combos and shit, and then everybody else started to have their own, like, opinions, and started to just say shit that wasn't true. And he was just like, yo, chat is lying to me. Y'all lying. And then he just stopped listening to chat. I hate this part. Oh, really? That's fine, that's fine. Oh, no, that's not fine. Once he's down there... You can't... Ungo down there. Once you go down, that's it. You can't, uh, you, you can't take that back. Oh no! All right. Wait, 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 wait. Skeletons have to be destroyed with a charge shot. Oh god, really? That is my bad because I forgot. Yeah, but the chat got busy. You know what I'm saying? And I was getting drowned out by people that were saying stupid shit. Because when I first got there, there weren't that many viewers. Oh god, right. Alright, we got him. Like, I know it's going to be there. I don't really need that. Pepe's. This is Justin Wong, not some shitty chud. Oh god, right, right. What am I thinking? Uh, the balloon's probably the best bet here, actually. I mean, I could use Rush Jet, but the Rush Jet in this you can't control as well, because it, it kind of goes on its own and you can only, like, manipulate it. But these balloons are really good. Alright, let's see if I can do the thing. I did the thing. Not to be confused with Justin Wang or Justin Long, as was once confused here. Nah, Justin's got a really chill community. They're all fighting game fans. It's people like me and Kitty. You know what I mean? Wait, why am I charging up? Oh god, I gotta use the rings for this. Oh, actually, the the Pharaoh shot works really good on this guy, but I'm trying to save that for other things. Drill me! Yeah, this guy's the real drill man, right? There we go. And here's the thing. There are three types of streamers, right? There are streamers that are chuds. There are streamers that are not chuds, and there's streamers that put up with chuds. You know what I'm saying? If somebody started using Pepe emotes in this, and it's happened before, I said no Pepe emotes. And that's it. That's like a hard and fast rule. I don't allow Pepe emotes. I don't allow chud shit in my stream. So to me, like, like it's almost like being a Nazi sympathizer. Not saying that anyone who uses Pepe is a Nazi, because it's not true, but a lot of Nazis use him. And if you put up with it, that's almost the same thing as... That's almost the same thing as um, doing it. Because you're allowing it to continue. And I think, I think we have certain people in the chat that agree with me that putting up with horrible fucks and letting them exist in your space is, is not a good look. Right, EB? All right, we got to rush jet this shit. Glad I saved rush jet. See, it just goes forward, and you can only manipulate it up and down. That's fine. Hey, hold on. 
I got this. Get up. Yo. Alright, I'm gonna opt out of this with the balloons. Well, hold on, I need a weapon first to take this guy out. And then I'll use the wire here, I think. The wire is good for certain situations where you want to save the rush jet or the balloons. But you need a ceiling. Like, I know there's going to be a guy there. Yo! Alright. All right, well, guys, thanks for coming by. But with that being said, no, I'm joking. But seriously, what? That's information that I didn't need, especially that I like avocado, and I hope that she's just wrong. Ew. <laughs> I'm sorry. No shaming, but ew. Uh, yo, I'm going to fill up my balloon here, actually. I, I, yeah. I, I... Maybe she just had a weird avocado. I actually want that energy tank, so yeah. Oh shit, which weapon breaks that in this? Uh, I think it's the drill. Yo! Oh, okay. Like lactating Wolverine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, I ain't... That's something I wouldn't put up with. Oh, what is it? This is gonna be the, the room, right? Believe it or not, the wire actually hurts this guy. I'm gonna try it. You can kill him pretty fast with the wire if you kind of get it right. Alright. Gotta wait for the slow one. All right, here we go. Oh God. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna burn this. Yo, speed up. Yo, we're running a little low on time here. I gotta beat this shit. I mean, I'll go a little extra late, but it's gonna be a fast one. All right, here we go. Let it shoot. Mm. That is actually not doing all that well, is it? All right, never mind the wire then. Um, the rings work too. I just don't have a lot of rings, so yeah. You know, I'm gonna go back here, yeah. No, not, not rings, what do you call it? The dust, right? Dust works. Dust just does good damage. The rings were not doing as well as I was hoping they would. Yeah, that's, that's the one you want. Nah. Nope, that's the medium one. You need the slow one. There we go. God damn it. Yo! Oh, didn't hit. That would have killed. Goodbye, everyone. I'll remember you in therapy. All right, here we go. We're going to end this right here. Got him. All right. If the quote from SpongeBob, oh my god. Now, I never had the Game Boy ones growing up. I played them on emulators, though. And I had them on, like, the 3DS, you know? Yeah, hopefully I got enough time before I gotta feed Gibbs to beat this game. Oh, auto scrolling, gross. That's right. Um, because uh, because due to one minor fuck up on my part, Dragon Quest took a little longer than it should have. Yo, 
Yo, Mega Man 2 on Game Boy was not super good. That's fine. That's not fine. I should not have let that happen. Oh, God. Mega Man 2 was a mess on Game Boy. It was the only one developed by some, like, weird company. Uh, I'm gonna fill up the dust. Yo, so my friend Salim on Facebook, the same dude that posted Lactating Wolverine, he posted something like, it was like, um, nasal spray, but it was mayonnaise. It was, it was mayonnaise spray, and it shows it, and it said Hellman's on it, somebody snorting it, and he's like, nah, hell no, nah, for me, dog, and I said, that's what Karen's pop right before they expose their true form. Wait, right, hold on, uh, I can get rid of these guys with the drill. No, I cannot! I thought that killed them. All right, hold up. Now nah, we got it. More auto scrolling, because everybody loves auto scrolling. These raise up. Ah, yeah, they do. But then you can make. No, they go. Yeah, they raise up when you jump off them. All right. Uh, fill up the ring. Alright, cool. SpongeBob's almost like The Simpsons, where you shouldn't be surprised that it came from that, because they've been around so long that it's done everything. Twice. Thrice for The Simpsons. By the way, there is no way to get that energy tank. There's just no possible way. That's schmuck bait right there. If there's a way to get it, I'm just not aware of it, you know? So, yo, this is going to be the wall, guys, right? So we need this. I'm going to charge while I'm in transit. Yep, the walls. Wall walker, guys. This is super easy. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. The curated... Spoongeburb. Uh, Spoongeburb. You can't get hit, because once you um, fall down there, there's no way to get back up. Unless you, ha you know, like, have a little bit of mercy invincibility and you can use the balloons, or maybe the wire. Alright, so this guy I absolutely have to shoot at. I can't just... Whoa! What the... Yo, go back. What the fuck happened there? Yo, I had health. Not enough, apparently. Oh, God. Yo, what? Yeah, flapper noodle doge. Oh, we got him. He's a good boy. When he, when he's good, right? Sometimes annoying, but always cute. My freaking ears! I know. I was talking shit. Good boy. Good puppy. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't. I see you thinking that. I mean, because there's another castle after this. I'm thinking like shit. It's like almost 420. But I right, we we got this shit right. We got this by the ass. We go a little extra late. That's all. It was a jam-packed stream. Just, I, I fucked up something with Dragon Quest, and I had to go out of my way to do something. But All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, whatever with that. We don't need that. I want that, though. Yeah, I had to do part of Mega Man 3 over, that's right. Because it's safe fuckery.
show you guys a trick though. You can skip a whole bunch of shit this way. Alright, Manacle, I want that though. Yo, now I got E-Tanks at the yin-yang. Damn slinkies, come on. So it brings you to an E-Tank and you skip a bunch of the levels. Fun. That's where you would normally come down from the other place. Wait, hold on. No, wrong. I need the Dust Crusher. Because we gotta fight Dr. Cossack! You got that grabby machine. You don't have to deplete his health all the way. Some shit goes down that will end it before you finish. Ah. Oh. He's easy, though. Freaking Dr. Grabby here. Oh, God. That should do it. He's not the final villain, though. There's Blues and Dr. Cossack's ultra. Please, Mega Man, don't. My father is not really evil. Dr. Riley took me hostage and forced my father to fight you. Please, Mega Man, don't hurt my father anymore. Oh, Kalinka. Father. Mega Man, forgive me. They're Russian. You betrayed me, Blues. I'm gonna break you, Mega Man. I love that line, I'm gonna break you. <laughs> He's such an ass. And then instead of fighting me right there, or me just shooting him in the face, right? With, like, just throwing lemons at him. He somehow gets away, and you gotta go fight the other castle. <laughs> They're Russian. <laughs> That's the entire joke between, like, K K Kalinka, Dr. Cossack. Yo, they was being mad cheeky with that shit. Yeah, Alina, and it's not even spelled that way, is Dragon Quest IV. The other Russian princess. Alright. Like, you know, you know how you know that it wasn't the end? Oh, God. Because we didn't rematch all the other guys yet. No Vodka Drunkinski. He was called something even, like, he was J Vodka Drunkinski and Soda Popinski, but then, oh, this is the all Metor level. But then he had, like, another name on the PC version. I forget what it was, but it was some other dumb name like that. Yeah, every enemy in this is a variation of the Met Metool. So probably better to not even charge anything. That's fine. Fuck. No, just go. I believe he got me on the way down, yo. Oh, this fucking shit. Alright. Alright, hardest jump in the game. You can rush Marine past that, but I like to do the jump because it's... It's definitely the hardest jump in the game. What, the mentors? They're not hard. They're just... There's a lot of variations of them. Yeah, nope. <laughs> no. Alright, let's... Rush jet. Come on, quickly before the things appear. Oh, God. And then we'll wire our way up. Oh, I wasn't close enough. All right. That's fine. Just wait. There we go. It's just that you gotta wait for them to pop their heads up. And 
kind of know the timing of... Oh, there's the E-Tank. Alright, fine. It is like that, yeah. Um, I think the ring for this part. The regular gun works fine, but I'm going to use the ring. A oh, ring... Get out of there. Damn. Alright, I don't care. I'm doing... Using a gun in a sword fight? Yup. Uh, where was I? Ring. Come on! Oh well. Got him. Ooh, flashing warning, Jesus. Because you have diarrhea? <laughs> Raid is a Lost Ark reference. Go! The only shitty thing is you need the ring for the next battle, so I'm going to try and refill it. Right, hurry up. Alright, here we go. Ready. Yep, that's correct. Okay. Indiana Jones has dysentery. I could get that, but I, I, I... Yo, that ain't worth the risk, though. I ain't going up there. That's gonna hit me. Yo, what up? What you got? Extra life? That's fine. I'll take it, yo. That was the incorrect choice. You have chosen poorly. Yo, Spiel Spielberg's the brains, right? He's like, yeah, I'm not... I'm just gonna eat the SpaghettiOs. He knew what was up. He ain't, he's like, I ain't getting diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea! <laughs> cha cha cha. Hey, timed it right for once. Uh. This one. Really? Tell me how to go to the other one. Nah, this is good. This is good. I'm gonna get hit. No, I'm not gonna get hit. Alright. I am gonna get hit. Either one would have been fine. A <laughs> shitty production. We know you have a choice of airlines, and you chose the wrong one. I fucked that up. Alright. Oh, really? Yo, Rush, what the fuck, man? Why won't he... Thank you. Oh, I hate that. Alright. Got it, finally. Yeah, like, why you do that? Why... Why wouldn't he? Oh, oh yeah. Why'd he do that? Why wouldn't he? No. Bad timing is a thing. You ain't shit for that. Alright. Alright, I never got to fill up the ring, so that sucks. Hopefully I have enough to make this better. Yeah, yeah, the gumball machines ain't shit. You're right. I don't like this. I mean, I like it, but I kind of also... don't want to fight it. Oh god, and I mi 
Ah, oh, no, no. We, 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 get in a, we get an encore on that one. Yo, what? Yo, bitched! Woo, baby! Alright. So we got the rematches and then Wily. Good. Mike Matane shit. Gotta fill up the rings. And I'll take the extra life, why not? Mike Matane's a shithead, who cares what he thinks, right? Actually, we care what he thinks, we want him to be angry. Oh god. That's fine. No, that didn't work exactly the way I wanted it to. Actually, I want that. <laughs> I just make a new Twitter just for that, right? I'm a new Twitter just for that. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. That'd be funny, though. One of y'all could do it, right? You don't care about Twitter, but you have an account. Alright, we got Drill Me! So that's, uh, this. Ora, 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 ora! Heyo, heyo, heyo! You see, so you, you can't say you beat the game, uh... I mean, I've totally beaten the game without re- I beat it on a cartridge, so what? I'm trying to stream for people's enjoyment here. Nobody cares if I use fucking save states and shit. Nobody that matters cares. I thought that would kill. Alright. Well, the important thing is I didn't... I didn't take damage there. Alright, we got... Okay, Bright Man. The rarely used Toad Man weapon. You gonna hit me now? Oh, why did it have to be a contact hit though? He wasn't gonna. I, I was gonna get out of that, but then he used it twice in a row. Cause he's a bitch. There we go. Skull man. The sky fucking opened up. That's rough. Uh, this. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Okay. Shit. All right, wait, 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 wait. Shoot. No. Not like this. All right, we got him. Nope. I somehow skipped one. I have to go back. Oh, it's this asshole. All right. All right. So, yo, the dive, the the drill works on him, but he's actually easier with the gun. Until you get him close to you like this, then you can swap it up. But you gotta make sure, even when you're not shooting, that you're constantly tapping the B button to, to manipulate him into jumping. That's why you hear me tap, 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 tap. He's the angry video game boomer. Alright, this absolute fucking piece of shit. Got him. That was a lot easier that time. I don't know why I was not as stressed out. All right, Deuced Man. Ring. Once again, I'm doing better than the last time. Yo, he didn't even hit me that much. Last time he was kind of 
throwing me around. Chudman stage? I don't know, like Texas? It would be like Texas, right? Or like Suck Man. Suck a tone. George Romero's about to make you his bit. That's definitely hitting me, so I'm not even gonna like worry about it. I'm forgetting what works on him though. What works on Ringman? Was it the Pharaoh shot? It's Pharaoh shot, right? Yeah, it's the Pharaoh shot. Moogman? Nah. That's all of Mega Man X as it is. Alright, and here's Pharaoh Man. Stop gifts. So we just use Bright Man's weapon, wait for him to be close to me, and then. Oh no. Hey, May Dog, haven't seen you in a bit. What's going on? Nah, fam. Stop, Gibbs. Got him. Ugh. I'm trying to end this before I have to feed the D-O-G-E. Alright. Stop, Gibbs! Get off of me! Alright. You want to be over here. Alright. Um, dust works really well. I don't have a lot of it, but... Get a little damage in there, and then switch to the regular gun. So you just make a charge shot, and then just do that. You're safe here, and he always shoots three in a row, and then there's a brief pause. Well, actually, it's more like he knows what feed means. Oh god. Alright, hold on, I gotta heal. The drill would work here if I can hit him exactly right with it. Oh no, you gotta detonate it. Nope. Yeah, you gotta explode it right there. Alright, we got him, we got him. One more. One more. Yeah, why do you call EB agent? Just say EB or, you know. Doge food, yeah. He's looking for that doge food. I'm trying to, I, I gotta feed him at five or at least close to five, so I'm trying to, like, end it before then. I think we got this, though. Um, gotta fill up my Pharaoh shot, but... You only need one shot. You know what I mean? You only need one Pharaoh shot. Oh. As long as you have one Pharaoh, like, if you can charge up one Pharaoh shot, you could, you could beat him. Alright, here we go. Okay, pause, unpause. Oh, yo, wh where is it? There it is. Now he's down there. I could have shot him, but... He's... Because you can aim it down. Mm, maybe I should just try to go for it. I have a lot of Pharaoh shots. I wasn't going to go for it that time. Hold on. No reason not to fill up my life, right? Damn. I had the opportunity, but I got hit. No opportunity there. Oh, hey, Fel. What's going on? I didn't see you there at first. Oh, yeah, baby. That don't even matter. 
We did it. Hi, Fel! I know you don't get to come by that often, but I know you sometimes lurk me. Because you make references to things. Ye order those food. Danger, danger. Shit's going haywire. Yo, was that in the background? Hold on, re rewind, 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 rewind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something. Yo, that's that dude from Undertale, right? Like right there, right there in the background. That's him, right? That's that dude from Undertale. The one has who has Silvando's voice whenever I play. Now you have to write an essay about what you like. Yeah, Metaton. That's his name. Metaton's original form. Doing that schnicky schnicky lurk. Hey, lurker lives matter though. Yeet. Boom! The skull mushroom cloud. Nice effect. They started overusing it after a while, but all the best shit comes from Mega Man 4. Mega Man 4 is the dopest fucking NES game as far as I'm concerned. Okay, may maybe Dragon Quest 3 and 4 are better, but still. Bamboo. Enaf King, who's kind of a chud. <laughs> That's Keiji Nafune. He had these weird scene name Enaf King. Color a dinosaur, not so much. Apropos of nothing? Apropos of nothing? Icky. The girl said I'm icky, so I made it my name. <laughs> Yo, all right. I gotta figure. I gotta. I gotta figure out the schedule while I. Uh, well, really, what's next Friday? So while this is playing, I'm gonna bring up my thing. Pause, and just see if I can figure out what the next uh, Friday game is gonna be. Cause we 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 finished three games today, so we got we got through it, right? Um. Yeah, we gotta do Breath of Fire too. That's true, yeah. And also made uh, the Genesis port of Action 52. Alright, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be Breath of Fire too. I could take Shovel Knight off this list. We already did that. Yeah, Breath of Fire 2 is good though. Yeah, my phone's going insane. What the fuck? Where is it? I'm just hearing, is it on the charger? No, here it is. Yo, why is my phone going so crazy? I just decided to dump like a shitload of fucking alerts all at once, I guess. Drill man, he's gonna drill you. And then Skull Man is gonna bone you. All right, so guys, while this is playing, because I have limited time here, I'm gonna go over the schedule with y'all, and then we will uh, do a raid. All right, guys, so uh, join me tomorrow night while I'll be continuing with more Suikoden for the PlayStation. Uh, big, big, big game there, bigly. Hi, Gibbsy. Gibbsy saying goodbye to everybody. Good boy. Okay, so tomorrow night. Uh, so we could end on the PlayStation Sunday night Dragon Quest 11 S Echoes of an Elusive Age uh, Definitive Edition for Steam. That's going to be uh, we're going to be starting the third act of the game, the third and final act. So that's cool. Monday afternoon, I will be playing Fatal Fury Wild Ambition on the PlayStation Rave. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be cool. Tuesday night, more of the Messenger for Steam. Wednesday afternoon, we're going to be starting. Um, Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. I'm hoping it's better than the first game, which I mean the first game is awesome, right? Until it wasn't. You could tell where the DS game ended, and then there was all the extra content that kind of sucked. And then the the ending, which really sucked. So I'm hoping that Nino Kuni 2 not being like an awkward remake is going to be better. So we're going to be starting that on Wednesday afternoon. Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom for uh Steam. Thursday night. We're going to be continuing with more Dragon View. I've already grind, uh, doing a bunch of grinding. Remember those frog guys that I had to like take 20 hits to kill? Uh, now it's two. So we're definitely powerful enough for the next part of Dragon View. Dragon View on this nest. And then Friday afternoon, a week from today, I will be back here playing some Breath of Fire 2. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do Game Boy or SNES. I think SNES, right? 
I don't know. The Game Boy version is, like, better, though. The SNES version... I think I'm going to do the SNES version just because, like, when I did it on YouTube, I did the... Uh... Well, then again, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick to SNES just because the graphics are better and the music's better. The gameplay is a bit rough because you don't get a lot of experience points, so we have to grind a lot, but I can do that off-stream and stuff, right? Or just speed grind. So I don't think it's going to be that that big of a deal. So let's go over here. Uh, thank you guys for coming by for the end of Dragon Quest II, and we got through Mega Man 3 and 4. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun uh, in this next coming week. We got like lots of new stuff starting. You know, Nino Kuni 2, we'll see what that's all about. Hopefully it's better than the first game. Hopefully... I will enjoy the entire thing and not just the first two thirds of it. Uh, that being said, who are we gonna raid though? Let's see who we got online. Uh, we got some options here. Yo, I'm gonna raid Wade. Wade's only got one view right now, and he playing Vampire the Masquerade and Blood Rain, Blood Rain, Bloodlines, which is a pretty interesting game. I think I have that. Let's raid Wade. Let me make sure I get his name right, though. McGuinness. Did I get it right? I did. So let me go ahead and give you guys a raid message. Let's use the oofer here. Let's do a kind of a Mega Man joke. Okay, guys, there's your raid message. You defeated Oof Man, you get Atomic Fart. Get your weapons ready. <laughs> All right, go ahead and copy that. Paste it as we head into Wade's channel. Uh, he is, like he said, he he must have just started. Yeah, he's only been going for like a half hour. He is playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I know June speaks highly of that game, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'll see you guys over on his stream. I'll see you guys on Discord. I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, night for Suikoden. Looking forward to that because I'm really loving Suikoden. And I'll see you around in general. And away we go. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs>